Okay, we've got Taj Edia joining us here. Uh, reminder to the media, please raise your hand for uh, any questions and I'll call on you. Uh, and with that, we will start with uh, Rich Rubin. You'll need to unmute yourself. Uh, Taj, um, it seemed like you were not getting uh, the space that you needed for your shots for a long time. And then in the last three and a half minutes, uh, you were, uh, I think you scored all 11 of your points. What changed? Um, they kind of changed their ball screen coverage on me um, as the game kind of went on. As Evan started making those perimeter jumpers, they were kind of reluctant to kind of stay on me and, you know, hedge so long or double the screen, however you want to put it. Um, so they kind of loosened up their coverage a little bit so that allowed me to um, get a little space. Okay, uh, let's go to, to uh, Ryan Karchi. Tosh, what was the biggest difference just offensively in the second half compared to the first? Um, I think we just had better flow. Um, it's better pace offensively. Um, Colorado tried to get into us early, you know, just try to deny all of our catches and just make everything tough for us. But um, as the game progressed, we kind of settled in a little bit and we kind of got into a good groove. And Obviously, you guys have played with Evan all season, but what's maybe been different from your perspective these last two games, especially? Um, I think he's just been ultra aggressive. Um, I think he's taking his jump shot more, um, his perimeter jumper, because um, teams are, you know, nervous for him to get around the basket because he's so talented, great touch, you know, around the rim, his, his jump hooks and things like that. So I think he kind of just taking what the defense is giving him instead of, you know, trying to just predetermine what he's going to do. So. I think he's just playing within great flow and we, you know, we need him to be ultra aggressive like this every night. Uh, shotgun. Taj, what do you learn from that slow start? Um, I kind of just play within flow. You know, I don't, I don't want to try to force anything or, you know, take away from how we play, you know, traditionally, you know, how we play every night. Um, so, you know, if teams want to, you know, deny me, face guard me off the ball and things like that, trap the ball screens, you know, I just try to make the right play. Um, if the, you know, the pass is to kick it to the corner or kick it back to Evan or whoever is setting the ball screen, then that's what I'm going to do. Um, but, yeah, I always try to play the right way. I was more referring to just the team, you know, you guys struggling on the offensive end as, as a whole. How do you kind of get out of an early funk when, when something like that happens? Um, I think it starts with getting stops. Um, just for example, tonight, um, Colorado got off to a, got up to a, you know, um, a good lead early and that maybe, um, you know, hindered our momentum or just our, our intensity, our energy and things like that. Um, but I think, you know, we're a defensive team. We're one of the best defensive teams in the country for a reason. And I, I think it starts on that and, and that that'll carry over to the offensive end. Okay, last call for questions for Taj. Okay, we'll go uh, to Shotgun, you had another one. Yeah, Taj, what do you think you guys gotta do well uh, in the NCAA tournament to, to potentially make a run? Um, I think we gotta come out to better starts. Um, this is not the first time this has happened. Uh, we put ourselves in holes um, and things like that. Um, but when we play good teams, you know, we can afford to do things like that. Um, but like I said, I think it starts on the defensive end. I think when we take care of that side of the ball, we'll be able to get out and transition offensively and you know we'll we'll be able to get into a good groove early. Thanks. We'll finish with the last uh, question from Mark Colton. Hey Taj, uh, I asked Coach uh, Enfield after the game for his answer. What is your response to the team maybe the outside shooters being reluctant to take the shot um, early in the game and disrupting the flow of the offense? Um, I mean, everybody, you know, who's in the game is capable of making that, you know, that perimeter jumper. Um, so guys just have to feel, you know, confident and, you know, just take that shot. Um, it's necessary for our offense. You know, teams like to load up on Evan or, or face guard me and things like that. So, um, you know, guys are going to have those opportunities. So we have to take them. Okay, Taj, thanks for coming in. Uh, we